KZAM is back. Welcome back. Well, if you are working from home, your kiddos are learning from home, maybe they're just getting ready to go back to school. Uh, well, you know what? It's like, how do you determine when to have breakfast, when to have lunch? Carmen is out chatting with the nutritionist this morning, and she has details on when is the right time to snack and eat. Because Carmen, for me, sometimes it's all day long. There is The time is all day. Right, and we definitely shouldn't base any of this off of our schedules because... God knows what we'd be eating and when we'd be eating it, right? But um, so we also want to talk about what we should be eating for breakfast and for lunch too, both for us and for the kiddos. So we're here at Village Health Club. We're talking to a dietitian, Jamie Miller, and she's going to help uh, to walk us through all of this. She's got some spreads out for us. Yeah. Now let's start with breakfast, my yeah. favorite meal of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about some of the key things that we should be eating while we're working yeah. or learning from home. Well, so. I feel like the main thing is that we're lacking structure after all, you know, this transition from um, working from home. So we're going to do two things. We're going to keep uh, in mind our schedule and then also a plan. So the main thing for breakfast is to keep uh, a schedule of eating before you start your day, just like you did whenever you worked in the office or your kids went to school. Okay. So we want to make sure we focus on great protein and great fiber. Um, so you could meal prep something like these uh, egg muffin cups or baked oatmeal, and then that just helps you be able to start your day really um, nourished and um, and then get your, your day on that schedule. So the best time to eat breakfast is before you start your day, before you get sidetracked, next thing you know, you didn't eat breakfast, right? Say like first 30 minutes to an hour from it when really, you wake up? It really actually is. It's a personal preference. I like to say before, at least two hours after you wake up. Okay. So some people, you got an option for the kids here. Yeah. You've got an option for and us. And both can be prepped ahead of time, which is awesome for those busy mornings. We love that. Okay, yeah. let's move on to lunch. Yeah, so lunch, I would just say the main thing is to pause for lunch because oftentimes people are working through lunch because they can and they just, next thing you know, they, they're starving, they grab a bag of chips and they just ate chips for lunch. So have a plan. And so what I like to say, is pack lunches just like you would have left the house. So this is a great, um, like a Mediterranean bowl. So with a Greek salad, some quinoa, some chicken, a little bit of lemon to spritz on top, some hummus and tzatziki, great for meal prep. And then for the kids, they're still eating at home, but pack them a lunch and then you know you can give that to them or they can take it out. So this is just some crackers, some uh, deli turkey and cheese, and then a little bit of Greek yogurt based dressing and carrots. So Perfect. And so how, what's, what's the timing in between the breakfast and the lunch that we should kind of gauge? That's again, a very personal question based on your preferences. Some people don't like snacks and they eat bigger meals and so they kind of space them out. I would say th four to five hours yeah. would be good. Okay, and then we've got a few snacks here too. We're gonna uh, run through this really quickly. We're running out of time, but what's Yes, next? so this is great if you like uh, something savory, some guacamole instead of chips, you would do bell peppers. And then this is a snack idea for kids. It's great so that they can be able to get their own snack. So a string cheese, a, a, a fruit cup that's in 100% juice and some crackers. Thank you so much, Jamie. Yeah. All super healthy things that you can easily pack, uh, meal prep ahead of time, yeah. put in the fridge for both you and the kids. And there you have it. You have to pick out, it's a personal thing to choose when is the best time for you to eat breakfast and lunch. But breakfast, 30 minutes to an hour after you wake up. And lunch, probably about three, four, maybe five hours after you eat breakfast is the best time to eat lunch, I both think, you and the kiddos. I think we all learned something today from you, Carmen. Thank you so much. Yeah. Great ideas and uh, appreciate it. Thank the dietitian as well.